A light emitting diode LED is a semiconductor device. Therefore, you need to limit an impact produced by the reverse half cycle voltage that may damage an LED. To apply a tolerable voltage to an LED, back current should flow through the LED. We connect up the LEDs as follows. Connect any silicon diode to reverse polarity parallel to LED. This silicon diode should be designed for current flowing in the circuit, for instance, 10 mA. This diode will pass the problem half cycle and will cause a decrease in voltage that is reversed for the LED. To save space, you may choose to connect small diodes, for example, KD522. Now you can replace a silicon diode with another diode designed for a similar or higher maximum direct current. However, in this case, a voltage drop of one LED should not exceed maximum permissible reverse voltage of another LED. Why is it dangerous to connect an LED directly to alternating current mains without a shunt diode? If reverse voltage exceeds the specified for a LED, each reverse half cycle will cause LED voltage breakdown. This voltage breakdown poses no hazard itself. For instance, voltage stabilizers continuously operate under such conditions. However, this current may cause transit overheating and thermal breakdown, and these may damage the crystal. You can use any silicon diode to prevent this, as silicon diodes are designed for a similar back current. Consequently, there will be no decrease in radiance generated by a shunt LED.